your help. This locket belonged to my sister Sophia and has been sealed for almost 400 years. In two weeks, its magic will be lost forever unless someone can open it and release the power trapped within. The secret to the locket lies in Rome. Remember to let the magic guide you. Love, Dad. Italian. Hey, Uto, get off me. Salem! Eight hours stuffed in an overhead bin? I'm never complaining about coach again. I can't believe you stowed away. Hey, have you priced airline tickets lately? I haven't got that kind of money. I was supposed to have two catless weeks to myself. I'm hurt. I only came because I was worried about you being all alone in a foreign... Hey, is that a pizzeria? Pull this bucket over! Your concern and your appetite are overwhelming. Excuse me, could you slow down a little? I'd like this to be my first trip to Rome, not my last. Watch out! See, not to worry. I'm a very good driver now. Look out! Oh, another scratch. Speak for yourself. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> it's beautiful. I don't remember this place in the Michelin Guide. This is your room. Oh. And this is your roommate, Gwen. Are you all right? My roommate? Yes, and there must be some sort of mistake. No mistake. I'll let you two unpack and get acquainted. Hmm? Hi, I'm Sabrina. Gwen, jelly bean? Oh, no thanks. Mm. I'm mad about them. My parents never let me eat sweets. They think it makes me too jittery and high strung. Parents? What do they know? Um, uh, well, I, I hope you don't take what I said about not wanting a roommate too personally. It's just that... I snore really loud in sinuses. Occasionally I float off my bed three feet in the air. Oh dear, you've got a cat. This could be a problem. Oh, he looks so cute. He looks like lunch. Somebody bring me a piece of focaccia. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, eight hours of recycled air. <coughs> I said, um, I'm gonna go unpack some things in the bathroom and maybe flush my cat. What are you doing? Do you want her to find out I'm a witch? No, but I'd like to roll her friend in breadcrumbs and dip him in marinara. I can't share a room for two weeks with the jelly bean queen. What am I gonna do? No idea. But while you figure it out, would you zap me a tiny grill and some barbecue sauce? Remind me again while you're here. What else could go wrong? <gasps> I had to ask. <gasps> oh, let me move some of my things so you can unpack. Thanks. <gasps> oh, I'll just stand here. <gasps> I mean, sit and, uh, look at the view. <gasps> my parents are traveling for the summer. They just sort of went and left me here, but it's totally fine with me. Because actually, 
I can spend more time doing <gasps> hiccups. Yeah, it really helps to stretch out like this. <laughs> oh, well, would you care for some water? Yes, thanks, quickly. <gasps> oh, I've sugar in my bag if you want. Oh, no, no, just a big glass of water, thanks. Left hand on blue, right foot on table. Miss Bruna, they say that it helps sometimes if somebody scares you. <gasps> uh, Sabrina? Sabrina? <laughs> the door, it, it's stuck. Well, you know, sometimes uh, these old houses, they settle. Uh, maybe you should just wait a minute. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. <laughs> See? Always settling. <laughs> Uh, thanks for that, that scary thing. I'll have to remember that. Is this water for me? <laughs> Furniture, it... <sighs> Get off of me, you mangy Yankee hooligan! You try and bite me, I'll bite your bloomin' tongue off! I've had food disagree with me before, but this is ridiculous. Your guinea pig had talked. Well, so did your cat! You're a witch! I'm not! Oh, um, Frizzle. Let me guess, you tried to freeze time and didn't get the temperature setting right? Used to happen to me all the time. <gasps> You're a witch too! How marvelous! Sorry about the water, I panicked. Maybe you should cut back on the jelly beans just a little. <sighs> this is so cool, I've never met a witch that lived in this realm before. I'm sorry, I thought you knew. We've always taken in witches now and then to help make ends meet. Do I smell pasta? <laughs> Parents, no. You want someone to keep an eye on the daughter while in Roma, you send her to Signora Guadagno. And she means it. She hasn't let me out of sight. Remind me to thank my aunts for the recommendation. <laughs> ah! I don't care how familiar you are. No animals at my table. Oh, somebody slap me. I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> We lost our powers a long time ago, but uh, we'll get them back. Someday, my son Alberto... Alberto! ...will marry a witch. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the lucky one, Sabrina. Yep, they're definitely going to hear about this. Oh, but you haven't seen him yet. He's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, here he is now. Buonasera. I'm sorry to be late, but I was cleaning myself. He's still working on his English. No, 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 no. Alberto. There. Next to Sabrina. Ah! The fuck Spanish! Everything is ruined! A filthy rat on my table! Actually, he's a guinea pig, and I just gave him a wash and a fluff this morning. Now it's only fit for the cat. But don't worry, I got a lot more. Stoney, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> And you really only have two weeks to try and open it? Yeah. They have 400 years and suddenly it's up to me. People think I procrastinate. It belonged to my father's sister, Sophia. I never even knew he had another sister. They say she was quite beautiful. About your age. What happened to her? She just disappeared about 400 years ago. Ah, uh, no. Sophia didn't disappear. She was banished. Banished? Yes, and her family has been looking for her ever since. Well, why was she banished? She fell in love with a mortal. My mother's immortal. It's not that big a deal. To some. But Sofia's love was an artist. Roberto Raoli, and he couldn't be trusted. She told him her secret, and he betrayed her. And surely you have been told what will happen if you freely tell a mortal that you are a witch, and he betrays you. No spell can take back the truth. So if he betrays you, you're stripped of your power and cast out. I always thought you had 12 hours to turn him into a pile of stone. I guess you chose not to. Personally, would have turned that Roberto guy into a pile of stone. That's the one thing I hate most about being a witch. The rules. I mean, most teenagers, when they screw up, they just get grounded. We get banished. The part I hate is trying to remember all the spells. Last week, I accidentally turned myself into a white rabbit. Trying to fix your hair, I bet. Puns will get you every time. Jelly bean? No, thanks. You're gonna rot your teeth out. That's all right. I'm British. <sighs> How are you ever gonna open it? Somebody grab me a hammer and chisel, and I'll pop that baby wide open. I've been writing down everything I could think of. All the places I need to go, the libraries, the archives. I mean, they wouldn't have sent me to Rome if it wasn't out there somewhere. I know I can figure this out. I just... I can't have any distractions. 
I can only think of one. Everything. Well, that's not too far. Sabrina, look! It's Ruby! We have to make a wish. Easy. No, it's uh, my fault. I sh shouldn't have been standing so close to you. No, I'm glad you were. Otherwise, I might have fallen in. Now I never would have let that happen. Sabrina! Are you right? Is this guy bothering me? I think my work here is done. Have a great time in Rome, Sabrina. Can we go to the Museo Nazionale Romano? Well, maybe we'll bump into each other again sometime. Only if I'm lucky. Ciao. Ciao. Hey, wait! You forgot to make your wish. What if it already came true? Sabrina, he's gorgeous. Did you see his smile? Uh, too many teeth. Uh, is that what you wished for? No. Well, I did. You stole my wish. I'd like to speak to somebody in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the girl? I don't know. Tourist. Mm. She's cute. She looks nice. Leave her alone. And then I are one of Rome's greatest treasures. Hey, you want to go to a museum? Poor kid. She's not going to know what hit her. Not if I do it right. You, you, you got cheese in your goatee. I think we'll have better luck if we split up. The brochure says there might be some jewelry here, somewhere to lock it. Pronto. Do you mind if I stay with you, Sabrina? I tend to get really lost in... Wow, that's the first time I've ever got lost without even moving. Gwen, up here. Oh. Smooth skin, healthy glow, but no arms. Definite drawback. Oh, wicked. Must have been a lot warmer then, because nobody kept their clothes on. I can do that. Oh, Frizzle. Mi scusi. No, una domanda. Ha visto un gigante? Sabrina! English. So. Have you seen a giant, a gi giant around here? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, David. Yes. Hi. Uh, Jellybean. Jellybean. Sabrina. Sabrina. Strawberry. Strawberry. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Sabrina. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Sorry. So now I know your game. You go around Rome pretending to bump into guys. Don't knock it, it's working. <laughs> well, just so you think that I'm not stalking you or anything, you forgot something at the fountain. What? That's me my name. We came all the way across town for that line. <laughs> it's Paul. Travis. Sabrina! We've got a big program! A big program ahead of us, yes. Oh, Gwen, this is Paul and Travis. Ciao. Pleasure. Come on, hurry up. Hey, look, the ball! Oh. Sorry, it must have been the hat. <gasps> Gotta go. Oh, uh, wait. You keep disappearing on me. When I want to disappear, you'll know it. Uh, wait. But how can I find you again? 24, Vibadia. Nice to see someone give you the runaround for a change. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's a giant. Come on. Not so fast. Okay. 
No, no, wait. I, I will What did you do? All I did was... Man, I've got the worst stabbing pain in my neck. Quit complaining. What is it, No, wait! I'm gonna put someone's eye out! No, wait, wait! Okay, is anyone looking? All clear. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. Bye! Did you happen to see... Did I see what? Um... Never mind. Uh, niente, nothing. Hey. Did you notice that Sabrina was... What about Sabrina? Nothing. She's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Really pretty. Kinda has a way with marble. So you did see it? I didn't see anything. Okay, great. So we both didn't see the same thing. <laughs> I thought I was freaking out. Me too. So I'm, I'm not crazy. You did see her turn this guy into a statue. Well, if you're crazy, then we're both crazy. Yeah, that was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. It, it really was unbelievable. What do we do with incredible, unbelievable stories? We sell them for a lot of money. This girl is the answer to our prayers. What do you think Simon would pay for a story about a beautiful, young, American witch? A witch? A witch. Suddenly... She's a witch. A witch? You honestly want me to believe that this girl is a witch? Oh, yeah, and I got a mole on my back that looks like Elvis. <laughs> Fat or skinny? Yeah. This from the same guys who sold me the exclusive Madonna gives up music career to become a nun. Hey, it could happen. What if we got you some real proof this time? Like video, unedited. Something you could prove hadn't been altered or tampered with. Then what would this be worth? You mean uh, you catch this girl doing um, some witchcraft? Maybe under a thousand? Dollars. Not Lyra. Dollars. If we can prove it, we'd have a story worth a lot more than a hundred grand. More like 250. Maybe. We'll take that as a yes. It's a deal. $250,000. Sure. Pronto. See? You're a genius. I told you. <sighs> With that kind of money, I can stop taking these cheesy celebrity photos and start taking pictures of things that really mean something to me, you know, things that I care about. Huh. We could do something really wild, like eat or pay the rent. <laughs> yeah. But how are we going to get the proof? Don't worry. I've got it all figured out. You spend some time with her, get to know her, and you'll be there to capture the whole thing on video for the folks back home. Exactly. <sighs> like I said, she won't know what hit her. Well, I'm not really worried about her. But what I am concerned with is the fact that she could turn us both into toads. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, remember when you were worried about distractions? Yeah. Well, there's one across the street right now, on a motorbike. Yeah, that would definitely count as a distraction. <laughs> but here's the big question. Do you go with him? No. What do I wear? My father's note said to let the magic guide you. And Paul was there when I saw the reflection. Okay, I'm rationalizing. Would you mind hanging out today with, uh, Alberto? Never mind. Mm, no, you've got to have something more mysterious. Something that says, I'm a woman of intrigue. I want to be alone. 
<laughs> Too mysterious. Oh, maybe something Italian like Sophia Loren. For some reason, that look works better on Sophia. Scullery maid or international sex symbol? I think I better stick with vintage Sabrina. Wicked. Okay, so 11 o'clock at the Hall of Records. And just where do you think you're running off to? We don't know this boy. Who are his parents? Maybe we could discuss it over a little bit of breakfast. Get in. How long have you been here? Since sunrise. I, uh, couldn't wait to see you. I haven't thought of anything else since we met. Let me show you the Eternal City. Oh, that's okay. I got a map. Thanks anyway. Nice bumping into you again, Paul. Hey, wait. I uh, brought you a flower. Thanks. So, was that a standard line, or did you just come up with it? Well, it's sort of standard, although modified a little. Usually works. So does walking away. <laughs> well, I don't really need a tour guide, but uh, I could use some breakfast. Great. It'll give me a chance to prove to you that I'm not a total jerk. strong for you. This little thing, I'm sure it'll be fine. With a cup of sugar and a quart of milk. So like I was saying, basically I spend my time taking pictures of the rich and tasteless so that once in a while I can take photos that really mean something to me. You know, I, I don't know if you know what I'm saying. But... Sure, it's like for every 12 insipid stories a school paper publishes about cheerleaders and pom-poms, I get to write a column about feeding the homeless. Exactly. So you do understand. Can we get some more milk? I'm starving. Me too, mate. Ready for Operation Feed Me? Now what's this? You call this an omelet? It isn't anything like the ham and cheese I get back home. Oh, Norman, don't make a scene. <laughs> oh, look, I can't eat. <laughs> This polyester's killing me. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to have me upper arm strength back. <sighs> How you doing, toots? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I think somebody found a mouse in their food. Will you excuse me? Come on. Quit goofing around. Nobody's going to pay to see her eat. Look, I got this under control, okay? We can't rush this. She's got to trust me first. This is so beneath you. <laughs> Can't believe I couldn't talk you into changing your plans. Guess I'm not as persuasive as I thought. Well, maybe you'd have more luck if you try it again tomorrow. It's a date. Uh, I get off work around 3 o'clock. Um, meet me at the flower stand. See you then. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. One of the good things about a city as old as Rome, they keep a lot of records. Oh, yeah. So, did you guys have a good morning? Oh, very good. But I think Gwen is afraid of the scooter. She held them so tight, my ribs are sore. I'm guessing alphabetizing is a recent invention. 
I just said they kept records. I didn't say they kept good records. Oh, I think I found a look. But it's in Italian. I can't read any of it. Oh, allow me to be useless. I've been perfecting that skill for years. Uh, Sofia di Borghese, 15 Via della Paglia. They have her address? Here's another, how you say, a cool thing about Rome. The street is still there. Road trip. And you sure you don't mind, Alberto? Because I could stay with you if you want. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. My, my ribs need a rest. <laughs> gotten on tape. You didn't get that? You're worthless. Well, I guess when she said she wanted to disappear, I'd know it. I guess she wasn't kidding. Next time, we're taking the scenic route. I think this is what you call a fixer-upper. Sabrina, we're not going in there, are we? She's right. You can't go in there. It's not safe. Well, what if someone went in first, you know, to check it out? Great idea. Huh? <laughs> Please, not me. Oh, okay. Here we go. What was that? This is so cool. Oh. Ah, what was that? Ah! 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 Trust me. If anyone was here, you scared them away. It's okay. So, um, what exactly are we looking for? I don't know. But being here gives me a sense of who she was. Who she was was a very poor housekeeper. the magic guide you. Surprise. 
Marina, what are you doing? Soot and grime, dust of time, take us back to the scene of the crime. Sophia, I know it. This is what she wanted me to see. We have to find it. Come on. That portrait of Sophia has to be somewhere in Rome. I'm sure it's a clue to opening up the locket. I just have to find it. Oh, I'm sure you will, Sabrina. I mean, you're so good at your magic. You think I'm good with my magic? Wait until you see me shop. Come on. I like you, but these shoes might. Are these cute or what? Well, look, you, you have to spend time together, talk to him, get to know each other. That's why Paul and I get along. Then why are you buying a new outfit? In case I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> you know how visual guys are. Our money. Come on! <sighs> you are good at this. Why do you waste your film on this junk? Nobody's gonna buy it. You wouldn't understand. What I do understand is that yesterday was a big bust. And if we really want to get some hocus pocus on film, we're gonna have to plan a lot better. Hi! Sabrina! Hi! Hi, well you found it. Nice outfit. Thanks! Yeah, conversation, that's the key. You remember Gwen and Alberta? Yeah, sure, hi. Uh, and you remember Travis and he was just leaving? Right. It's my turn to disappear. I have to go work to make us some money. Ciao. So, you found it okay? Yeah, this is great. It's beautiful. Alberto, why don't we go over here and look at the fountain? Oh, no, no. Oh, go ahead. I've already seen it. How's he ever going to know that he likes me if he won't spend any time with me? If I could just remember that spell. Alberto, who with my heart does play, Fly to my side on wings of grey, and there you'll stay without delay. Alberto? Oh, Alberto! Oh, Frizzle! Um, Gwen, are you coming? Oh, where's Alberto? He um, had to fly off somewhere. Well, it looks like you're in need of a new tour guide. I guess I finally get my chance. Yeah, well, I'll let you fill out an application, but I'm warning you. I check references. Okay. <laughs> Alberto? 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 Sabrina! Sabrina, wake up, please. We have a problem. Alberto! Alberto, are you in there? What do you want, Mama? I'm sleeping. Sorry, Alberto. Go back to sleep. I didn't see you come in. Gwen, where did you send him? I don't know. I wasn't meant to send him anywhere. I was trying to spend more time with him, like you said. That's not what I said. 
five pounds says he's in Greenland. She's always sending people to Greenland. Then what are you still doing here? Hey, that better be a caper. Okay, can you remember the spell? No. Well, try, please. It's a really big book. All right. It had, um, heart and, and gray and wings in it, I think. Okay, I found it. Oh, what does it say? Good news and bad news. Good news, he's still in Rome. Bad news, he's a pigeon. What? <laughs> I sure hope that was chicken. Isn't there some sort of reversing spell? Good news, yes. Bad news, you have to kiss him. Really? I have to kiss Alberto? Well, this is turning out to be quite a smashing little spell, isn't it? No. Not Alberto the boy. Alberto the pigeon. You mean, like one of them? Figures. My first kiss. And it's with a pigeon. <laughs> On the lips? Do pigeons have lips? Oh. Oh. Do you have any idea how many pigeons there are in Rome? Chapstick? gonna be here for hours. Uh, maybe I can help. <laughs> Girl Scout, you should see my knots. You can never be too prepared. <laughs> there you go. Gwen's out kissing pigeons, Paul's chasing celebrities, I'm tracking down a 500-year-old aunt.
Excuse me, Mr. Tour Guide. How do you say this bites in Italian? Morde. Well, this mordes. We've been at this for over a week and nada. And do you have to keep paying for everything? She's supposed to be making us money, not costing us. Relax. I've got this under control. Where are you, Sophia? Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Liar. Well, I go home in a few days, and I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint a lot of people. Well, maybe if you weren't so secretive, I could help you out. Oh, well, if I told you, then I'd have to kill you, and that gets so messy. What am I going to do with the body? Sabrina, you can trust me. I know. Well, it might sound silly, but I'm trying to find the portrait of the woman who you stole in this locket. Do you know who painted it? Robert Rowley. And all I've been able to find out about him was that he was a really minor Renaissance painter. Never heard of him. That's the problem. Nobody has. That's where you're wrong. Come on. Still Life by Roberto Rowley, 1596. One good thing about sleazy tabloids. Great research department. I've eaten the fierce fruit. We're going to be making the big bucks on this one. Let's go see if we can find the one you're looking for. Sabrina! This isn't working. No better than you are, I just concentrate more. Wow. What's the matter? Look at your nails. We're definitely getting manicures. Gwen, you're gonna have to come in here. But I can't. Concentrate. <gasps> I did it! Now I'm wicked. Uh, much better. And on your right are more still lies by various artists. Please keep moving. Please keep moving. Our winner today will take home two oranges, an apple, and a bunch of grapes. What? Sophia. So is this who you're looking for? Roberto Rowley, 1598. Subject unknown. She's not unknown anymore. She looks just like you. And she's wearing the locket. Sick. Believe me, I know that feeling. Must you bounce when you walk? She looked trapped. I know how that feels. Can I get a little air down here? Maybe she just found out that Roberto had betrayed her. No, it was more than that. It was. It was like she was trying to tell me something. Yeah, be more careful. What? I don't think you should have told Paul about Sophia and the locket. Quit being so protective. Paul's a great guy. Besides, it's not like he knows I'm a witch. So I guess all witches are babes. Who knew? Am I right? I mean, that portrait was a little spooky. Hey, you think it's actually her and she's really like 500 years old? No. I hope not. No, I, I can't get over the likeness. I mean, I know you're a relative, but it's amazing how much she looks like you. Um, I'm an ornithologist. A bird lover. She's very literal. Yep, a 
real bird lover. <laughs> Sabrina! Excuse me. I'm telling you, I smell pizza. Race you to it, mate. Hey, wait for me. Well, that one kind of looks like him. Oh, Sabrina, please, his eyes are too dark and his beak is way too short. Okay, we really need to get you a boyfriend. <sighs> I don't know, I'll just start kissing a couple of her. You're not really falling for her, are you? I mean, this is all just an act, right? Right. Good. Because I think your chance at romance is going to go out the window when she finds out you're scamming her to make a bundle. Well, we're not going to make a dime if we don't hurry up and figure out a way to get some proof. we got to come up with something big, something to force her to use her magic. That's what I was thinking. I've got this plan. Whoa! Oh, get, get it off me! Get it! Get it! No! Not me! The bird! Ah! You might want to wash your hair. <laughs> what makes you think I'm going for a ride on one of those? Ever hear of a little thing called teeth? <sighs> Ever hear of a little thing called a breath mint? Sure <laughs> Extra rodent, no charge. Wanna pizza with the everything? <laughs> Great. I come all the way to Rome and my cat creates an international incident. I can't help it. I'm weak. <laughs> okay, here's my plan. Are you sure it's all gone? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, you ready? All right, here it is. I'm gonna run you over with my car. And I'm gonna knock you inside your head. Are you crazy? But I'm not really gonna hit you. I hope. Okay, you and Sabrina are in the middle of the street. I race toward you, you call out to her, and presto zappo, she saves you both. And I've got the whole thing on tape. You are crazy. What? Are you afraid she's not gonna save you? Maybe she's scamming you too. She'll save me. We'll see. Huh. Let's hope she's quick on the draw. Six o'clock, Via del Pellegrino. Don't be late. So why Rome? What do you mean? Oh, we have plenty of cheesy tabloids back home. Why stay here? No real reason. I just like it. Liar. I know I was adopted when I was about two by this great couple. But when they died a few years ago, I found out I'm not Irish like I always thought. I'm Italian. So when I take my pictures, I'm like, like this old guy, I think maybe he could be my grandfather or this woman could be my sister. I don't know, I guess I'm just searching for a past. Like me with Sophia. Yeah, yeah, like you with Sophia. Ah, oh, Sabrina, wait. What's the matter? Go stand over there, I wanna get this shot. The light's really good. What, just me standing here? Yeah. This is really great. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. That looked just like... Just one of those crazy drivers. Come here, I, I want to show you something. What? What? <laughs> okay, wait, turn around. <clears throat> Can't look yet. Let me see. Nope, just be patient. Please. One more second, one more second. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Open your eyes. It's beautiful. It's my favorite place in the entire world. It's nice to finally be able to share it with someone. Well, thank you for showing me around today. I really appreciate it. I don't know. I think I've been more distracting than helpful. Well, then here's the distractions. Salute. Could you stand one more? Distraction. I think so. I have a pretty high tolerance.
Sabrina, you're back! Young lady, do you have any idea what time it is? 12.30. Darn it. I knew my watch stopped. What's all over your face? Alka, sir. I'm never gonna eat a ghetto. <laughs> what? No doggy bag? Sabrina, come on, tell me everything. What happened? Oh, you know, the usual. Believe me, Gwen doesn't know, so you'd better fill in the blanks. You didn't tell him any more about Sophia, did you? Doesn't sound like you know what happens on a date either. All I told him was how close I feel to her. I've got to figure out how to open this. But how? I mean, you've tried everything. Not everything. It's too dangerous. You go in through the painting, you'll have to come out the same way. But I have to go see her. I have to tell her about Roberto, warn her that he's going to betray her. You can't interfere with people's lives. Oh, like you're doing now? Exactly. I'm the ultimate bad example. Fine, I won't interfere, but if the subject of Roberto comes up, I... Okay, I'm rationalizing again. But I'll just ask her how to open the lock. Sabrina, I'm worried. What if you go back, accidentally change the course of history, and you're never born? Well, then I wouldn't be here to go back in the first place, so it wouldn't matter. Oh, right. Wish me luck. I know I'm gonna get blamed for this. <laughs> ah, great hair century. My locket, it's gone. Sabrina. Who are you? Why do you look like me? Uh, let's just say I'm a distant relative, like 400 years distant. You're a witch. How wonderful. No one has ever come to visit me from the future before. Well, they should. You guys throw great parties. But I know why you are here. It's because of Roberto, isn't it? Let the record show you mentioned him first. My family's so worried about me. But now you can set their minds at ease. How? Well, my family is so worried about me marrying a mortal, but... Now you can tell them how happy Roberto and I are going to be. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but sometimes parents aren't always wrong. You wouldn't believe who they think is a good match for me. Lorenzo. He's a witch, and he's doing everything possible to stop my marriage. But nothing can stop true love. Right, Sabrina? Right. You haven't yet told Roberto that you're a witch, have you? Of course I have. Why do you think they're so worried about me? Wait here. I'll go tell them. And try the mutton. It's fabulous. So much for not interfering. So you remember the plan? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You can trust. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Sophia. Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. I must be off. Gotta get out of here. Oh, I forgot to ask her how to open the locket. Oh, Roberto. A pleasure. Have we met? You don't think I'm Sophia? No. I've been staring into those eyes for over a year now as I painted this portrait. You're not my Sophia. A cousin, perhaps. She's smiling. Is that the way I came in? Of 
Of course she's smiling. How else would I paint her? You really love her, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, I do very much. Will you excuse me for a moment? I think I'm about to invent the handshake. Sophia, as your best friend, I'm begging you. Don't marry her. She's not what she seems. Look, there's nothing you can say she's to me that... She's been seen floating three feet off her bed. Explain that. She's a light sleeper. You're being ridiculous. Objects appearing and disappearing. Talking animals. I've always said she has a certain magical quality about her. Now, if that's all... Robert, there is only one explanation for her behavior. She's a witch. You haven't told anyone else about this theory of yours, have you? No. Good. Let's keep it... But I'm it going to publicly announce it in the square tomorrow. You can't do that. I have no other choice. But don't worry. If she's not really a witch, I'm sure she'll have nothing to fear. I don't understand. I made my decision. And there's nothing you can say to stop me. Wait. Wait. Let me explain. It's true, Sophia is a witch. See? I told you he couldn't be trusted. Sophia. How could you? How could you betray me? What? Betray? He was going to accuse... I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. Sophia, you have to forgive me. Of course I forgive you. I love you. Bravo. Wonderful. But unfortunately, it is not up to her to forgive. Sophia knew the consequence of telling you her little secret. And now she must pay the price for your betrayal. As is the custom, you'll be stripped of your powers and cast out. Or, you have 12 hours to turn this traitorous mortal into a pile of stone. Personally, I think you'd make a lovely rock garden. No, please, I could never do that. It was just a mistake. And that, my dear, is the trouble with these mortals. They are prone to mistakes. So choose, Sophia, your magic and the world that you love so dearly, or this man who betrayed you. Don't interfere, don't interfere. <laughs> who am I kidding? Excuse me! Look, I know I'm breaking all kinds of rules, but this is totally unfair. Who is this? Roberto didn't tell this guy on purpose he was tricked. Lorenzo paid him a lot of money to get Roberto to say it. Is this true? Mercutio, how could you? As I keep saying, you simply can't trust these mortals. They're rats. I wouldn't marry you, so now you're going to deny me my happiness? I'm a very bad loser. But trick or no trick, he still betrayed you. So you can either turn him into a rock You or... would rather I honor my magic before my heart? Well, if my power is what you want, then my power you shall have. I will follow my heart. Wait for me. Sophia! This is your fault. Interfere a little, interfere a lot. Run! Stop them! Quick! Go that way. I'll stall them. Sabrina, thank you. Someday I'll get Sophia back. Here, you might need this. What for? On guard! Hey, watch it! You try doing this backwards and in high heels!
If she moves that finger, cut it off. Uh, Sabrina! Did you bring me anything? I just don't understand Sophia's decision. I mean, even if she was banished, she still could have seen Roberto again. Do you think he's still out there waiting for her somewhere? I can't believe she's trapped inside that locket. I can't believe you traveled 400 years back in time and you didn't even bring me back a t-shirt. <laughs> well, at least you were able to help Roberto escape. And work on my thigh muscles. Fencing's a lot harder than it looks. Do you think your family would mind if you married a mortal? They'd pass out if I ever even went on a date. Although my mother's got a heart set on me marrying a witch doctor. How about yours? Well, I never thought so, but Sophia's family, my family, I mean, they were willing to lose her instead of letting her marry the man she loved. Sometimes it's so hard to date a mortal. And there's this huge part of you you can't share. Sharing is highly overrated. I'm sorry to bother you. Have you seen Maliberto? Somebody ate the food I left out for him. <clears throat> Who did that? <clears throat> but I didn't see him come in. I haven't seen him in days. <sighs> Up early, in the late. Oh, you know Alberto. He's probably just flying off somewhere. <laughs> Maybe you just missed him. Ah, fifty pigeons! Where is oh! You should be careful. They're full of diseases. <gasps> now she tells me. Alberto? Mm. Blew it, buddy. Now we've got nothing. Yeah. I guess I did. You know, it's still not too late. That's what I keep hoping. What's the matter with you? Do you know how much money you're blowing on this thing? Yes. But I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I've never felt this way before. I can't stand lying to her. You know, I, I really like her. But the money... It's not like she's sharing all her little secrets with you. What if I just come clean with her? Be honest with her, you know? Maybe she won't even care. Right. And what are you going to say? Oh, by the way, Sabrina, my friend and I know that you're a witch. Could we possibly get a couple of shots to prove it to the rest of the world? Thanks. You're the best. I'll think of something. Just let me handle this, Travis. Fine. Handle it your way. Now handle it mine. Wicked? No other word for it. Sabrina, you tried your best. Did I? I mean, Sophia's trapped in the locket and her magic's about to run out. I'm going dancing. Enjoy yourself. It's your last night in Rome. Sophia would have wanted you to. Listen, buddy, I've seen you here before. One kiss per customer. Ew, poor birds. All right, well, don't get your feathers all ruffled. Maybe it was your brother I kissed. 
Sabrina's right. I really need to get a boyfriend. <gasps> Alberto! <laughs> Me again! <laughs> and finally I can stop bouncing my head. Oh, Gwen, how do I thank you? I think you just did. Where's Sabrina? Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina! I should have left you a pigeon! She's in trouble. Paul and Travis, they are trying to prove that she's a witch. They want to sell the story for a lot of money. Oh, if Sabrina tells Paul's a witch, she's never going to be able to take it back. We have to warn her. Gwen, you have to get us to her. I highly recommend taking a cab. Hey, I can do this. Tracking spell, they're simple. Yeah. What witch can't do a simple tracking spell? Four letters. Begins with G. All right. I've got it. I've still got five pounds on Greenland. You're right. The only one who can do it is me. Brenda! It's even more beautiful at night. Would you like to make a wish? Let the magic guide you. Sabrina, there's something I have to tell you. Come on. What are you doing? Making a wish come true. One wish fulfilled. I, I don't understand. Where are we? Oh, about 20 minutes outside of Rome. That is, if you drive. Uh... I don't know how to tell you this, but, I mean, this isn't my wish. <laughs> this isn't, but they are. My family? Yeah, I think the big guy at the end of the table is your grandfather. you'd like it. Boys are so hard to shop for. <laughs> <laughs> Wish or the kiss? Both. Uh, Sabrina, you don't know what this means to me. There's just one little thing. You have to promise never to tell anyone. I promise. Send him to the outer rings of Saturn. Your cat talks. And this is what surprises you. Grazie, dear. You have no idea how many places we have been. Sabrina, are we too late? Too late? What are you talking about? Alberto, you're not a pigeon anymore. Paul set you up. He's using you. What are you talking about? He and Travis are writing an expose on you and selling it. I've heard it with my own ears. Do you your tab is? Is that true? I... You were using me? You knew I was a witch the whole time and you didn't say anything? Sabrina, I, I'm sorry, I, I... I can't believe I trusted you. 
Sabrina. Sabrina, wait! I never meant to hurt her. Well, you're going to be hurting when she turns you into a pile of stone. But until then... Don't do anything you're going to regret. Oh, I'm not going to regret this. Hmm. A rabbit, maybe. No, better. A chicken. Or a pigeon. Maybe a couple of inches taller? In the fountain? Out of the fountain? Talking cat? Goat boy? That was more than I ever thought we could get. We're gonna be so rich now. You can take pictures all day if you want. Do me a favor. Just shut up. But Paul... What are you waiting for? You have to turn him into a pile of stone. I can't. Sabrina, please be reasonable. You only have 12 hours. Uh... Make that 11. Well, what if he doesn't betray me? What if he keeps his promise? So he spends 400 years as a pile of rubble. He deserves it. You'll lose your powers, and I'll lose my meal ticket. <laughs> oh, Gwen. Are you feeling better? I probably shouldn't have eaten those aluminum cans and the dish towel. Well, I tried to stop you, but you were fairly pig-headed for a goat. Thanks for changing me back. Oh, I didn't really, Sabri... I mean, you're welcome. Oh, there used to be flowers. I had them for dessert. <laughs> when could you... Could you do me the favor of... Could I give them to Sabrina for you? No, no, no. These are for you. Could you do me the favor of going out to me sometimes? When I'm a boy, not a pigeon or, or a goat. Really? It means a lot to me that you would get so many of my friends uh, just to find me. Well, I mean, it was really good practice. F I mean, thank you. Good night. Good night. Gotcha a little something for the plane, mate. A pepperoni. I'll cherish it. Aw, oh, don't go all soft. We'll talk. Remember, I got email. Sabrina, I'm so sorry. Do you think I should turn him into stone? Yes! Say yes! Less than an hour. Sabrina, please. Uh, does anyone have a knife? Sabrina mia. You have to cast a spell before it's too late. Oh, this is all of my fault. <laughs>
Sabrina, I'm begging you. If I had knees, I'd be down on them. You're almost out of time. There's only one choice. You're right, Salem. You're totally right. I love it when you say that. But that's the problem. There's only one choice. To the Museo Nacional Romano, por favore. I couldn't leave without saying goodbye. My family will probably be upset with my decision, but... I know you understand. If I learned anything from you, it's that if there's a choice between love and magic, the answer is always love. It's the same with love and money. One wish fulfilled. I was right. Thank you for believing in me. Sabrina, you like it. Sophia, you're free. But how? You believe with your heart instead of your magic. Thank you. Goodbye, Sabrina. Goodbye. Wait, your locket. You keep it. Remember, the people who touch your heart are always with you. Thank you. Avete confidenza nel vostro cuore. Trust your heart. We always do. tell anyone and I destroyed the tape, but what about Travis? I don't think you have to worry about Travis. <gasps> I hope he's enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> There you are. What's he doing here? You're just lucky I'm declawed. He didn't you... betray me. Well, I always said you could trust him. I don't know what you were so worried about. Neither do I. I hope Sophia was right. About what? People who touch your heart are always with you. I can guarantee it.